that time has come. You know, we gotta stop all these games we've been playing, dodging and whatever. Well, what I have here is a BMS, which stands for Battery Management System. This one is this is a these are devices that regulate or equalize or balance your cells the way they should be and the way they should work for your off grid or partial off grid or battery backup system for your lithium batteries. This is what is called a BMS battery management system. It's about time we have to learn about this. We like it or not, we have to. We can't just stay behind. And I'm not an expert into this, okay? So don't quote me. Don't try to criticize me because I do not like this stuff at all. I do not like any of this thing because there is no perfect BMS there is no perfect uh, um, shutter thing they've built, even on cars. You take the batteries apart and you go about it, you find a cell, it has a, a, a deviation on it. So I don't know how this thing came about. And with the latest technology or the newest technology, you got to deal with this. You like it or not, it's going to be on one of your batteries. Or if you don't want to deal with it personally, like I'm doing right now, it's going to be inside your battle bond battery. It's going to be into all kind of batteries I've been talking about on this channel. It has a massive heat sink. This is, a, if you look at the specifications here I showed earlier, this is a 4S. What it means, what it means by 4S is a four batteries in series to give you like 3.2 volt times 4. That gives you that 13.8. If you go 3.5 volt or 6 volts, that will give you almost the 14.4. And 4 batteries in series, that gives you the 4S configuration. 4 in series, that's what it meant. 4S. And is a 300 amps. So you can take a heavy load. It has the wire here. These are the balance leads. This is what they call the balance leads. And we're going to be having the B minus here. This is where you connect your battery, the negative side, just like you connect on the shunt. So the negative comes in here. See the B minus and the load side of it. The output goes to C minus like this is the charging area this is where you draw the power so just like having a shunt okay a smart shunt you connect this one to the battery the battery the wire comes from the battery it goes in here the negative and it travels from here now goes to the load maybe the inverter bus bars to your charge controller or inverter whatever it is this is where it pulls and this is how this thing reads just like um uh um a shunt a smart shunt so i already put the leads here so when you're about to wire this thing you're gonna take this one see the b minus here this one goes to that terminal as well b minus it goes there and tie this one there and you started picking this the the, the second lead after the black one it's always going to be the next one going to the positive of that next battery. And this one is going to go back to the next battery on that series. When you keep going the series configuration, it goes there. And after that, it goes to the third one here as well. And the fourth one here goes to the positive side of the battery which is the battery uh, positive terminal goes there okay to turn this thing on because since you already have the negative which is the black wire the black wire here it goes on the negative and this one end up going to the positive it turns on this device there's a little leds here 
that does the job. If it's flashing, it's going to tell you that it's uh, doing the job. It's balancing the stuff. So, this is the 300 amp on a, just a 12 volt. For It goes with a lithium um, ion and lithium ion phosphate and um, other chemistries. You, it, it does it because it's already set. This one, I don't have to monkey with nothing. Um, no temperature sensor. You get a massive heat sink. And I don't do anything. That's what I want. I don't want to go with it because the software, nobody understands the software. I've never seen a genius. Anyone who's been playing with this thing, they always think they know. And they're going to say good things about this BMS. And all of a sudden, it's going to be like a party pooper. It ruins everything. Okay, we go back to zero. This other side you see in here, this is called a passive balancer. If you can able to see, or active active balancer, sorry. So this one can use the LTO as well, the battery. Those are higher voltage, like a lithium ion. Uh, lithium ion phosphate, it stays within the 3.6 3.2 or 3.65 volts, which is the highest. But these other guys, um, lithium ion or LTOs, they go like the 4.2, more than 4, 4 volts. Okay? So, this is a, a JW678S. So, this you can use into... Um, a 6S and you can use an 8S configuration which is a 12 or 24 volt they're just capacitors right there see the capacitor see the voltage so this is how it works so these are for 24 volt only there's two of them here which is the call which they call active balancers it takes, if you see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three capacitor for one cell, all the way to eight batteries in series, eight cells in series. And that will give you the 8S configurations, which is a 24 volt. All right. So these are the wires right here for the balancers. So you tie them just like you wire the BMS. You see... The video when it comes how we're going to be utilizing this stuff they've been sitting there for quite a long time i don't want to talk about them because i'm not an expert into this so here is another active balancer and this is um this is the first ever i've seen which gives you the seven amps most of these guys are five amps they can able to balance your battery with five amps and this one is the first one I ever seen and gives you the six to seven amps balancer. The leads are here. I'm gonna be showing you how we're gonna be connecting the leads here, putting the connectors into it, just like these guys here. What I've done here, put it, the, the terminals. Okay, so anytime we wanna use it to any battery, we are ready to go. We can just remove the, 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 the bolt on the battery and stick them things and fire them up boom there you go when you charge your batteries these things knows if any of the cells are kind of low one is low or whatever the other one is higher it borrows from the other one and transfer the power to 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 the other one that is, uh, needs it and if it's too high it's going to reduce it if it's too low it's going to take from the higher cell and stick it to the lowest cell so they almost work in conjunction to each other you can have this all together but some of these have balancers the balancers on these ones they're not that great the balancers on this one just just balancer active balancers they work great i like this more than dealing with bmss okay that's it period that's what i want i like something like this you wire them just like a bms this is um this is a, a 16S, 17S. There's an extra wire. So for 17 cells in series, 
which can give you approximately over 60 something to 70 volt but you can only use um the um the 16 s which is a 48 volt give you the 58 point something or very close or 60 volt but this one the other one extra lead can take you about a 70 something like that so this is an active balancer all right these are all active balancer this guy here is a bms battery management system and here is another whole bunch of fiasco look at all these leads and it comes with um, a fuse, which is a 400 ANL, 400 amps. It's right there. See? And these are the leads for it. And let me show you. This is a huge, very huge uh, BMS. Battery management system. It comes with a huge leads. Look at that. These are approximately a four gauge leads right here. See the black ones, the blue ones go to the B minus right here, like I was explaining earlier. And this one goes to the C minus. So this goes to the, 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 the charge, the inverter or the, the bus bars where you tie your, all your inverter, your charge controllers and everything, the load side. And this one goes to the battery side, the blue and black. So this is a huge one with a Sengen, if that's how you pronounce it. I'm not Chinese and um, I'm not learning to pronounce this uh, at all because I don't think I ever say it right, you know. So this is a big one as well. This is uh, a 300 amps. It works with all the batteries I've talked about. The LTO, um, lithium ion, lithium ion phosphate, LFP, um, life PO4, whatever. See that? This one works with that. But the only thing, you just have to go and choose the battery that you're working with or whatever. So it's a BDJ, the manufacturer. Look how massive this thing is. It's huge. And it has a massive cooling system. Look at this. The huge bridge right here. The parallels so it can carry the current from this guy. This is a 300 amp. This one can do a 48 volt, which is a 16S configuration. This can do it. Look at the metal. You can have, this thing is heavy. So it has a fan in here to cool the system. And it has, that's why they gave you, they gave us an inline fuse to make sure that we have a 400, these are 300, but it's going to be surging if you have an inverter can surge two times the capacity or three times. This fuse can blow up instead of ruining the BMS, which is the brain for regulating the batteries, um, how they're supposed to be charging. So the QR code here. We can use to download the app. There are a whole bunch of things here. I think it's for uh, sensors, temperature sensors. See, you see the B plus, the B2, B1, whatever. So it have a temperature sensor right here. And it has a whole bunch of other stuff you can plug or Bluetooth connectivity, I suppose. So it's another sensor here. I think it's for cold and hot, you know, they can be able to um, turn off when it's too cold. You're not going to charge your battery. It's massive. I'll put a link on the description below if you want to buy this. And um, that will help with the channel. And we can be able to produce more content coming in your way. So this is where you connect the, um, the leads. I was talking about earlier these guys here this leads that goes to tie it into each cell of your, ba your your battery bank for the 16s configuration all the way to 17 so I hope um, I covered most of the other stuff here like I said I'm not an expert there are a bunch of guys out there who pretend to be their expert into these and they always complain 
if I'm, I know what I'm doing, I don't think I'm going to complain and I'm not going to be discouraged. I would just love what I, I do. But a lot of people out there, they're complaining. They want to the BMS. They want to the BMS. I'm not a BMS guy. But if you watch most of my videos, I said, we're not going to, I don't use BMS on my batteries. I said, I'm not going to say completely, never, never, never say never. But now we have BMS right here. We have a BMS. So you can't say never. But I know someday, maybe, because my viewers want to see me do this. You know, some people think I'm a, a very good narrator. But I don't know. Some people think I suck. But some people think they know it, but they don't try. <laughs> so, me and them, who is better? At least I try. They don't. They'll only be as a spectator telling people what to do on comment on the comments description below. And they never they never own even a system. But they know it all. <laughs> That's the most funny thing. They always make me laugh. People like that, they make me laugh. You know, you're too good to do this. Oh, yeah, I can't afford it. But anyway, I have to buy it for you. Since you guys don't afford it, I have to buy this. Okay, to do it with my money. To buy this equipment to able to show you guys or we can do a video or we can build a system together and which all of us can learn together how everything goes right here at JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching. Like, come like and subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.